Kitten Knit Sweater Company. Yeah, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. Uh, Bye, nice. tap out! And I know that if I bask in Carol, Carol freaking baskin! I'm taking you dogs, they're gonna work for my, my fucking workforce! Oh, fuck, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck, I hear that. Like, night speak. I'm like, Ugh. Sounds like uh, someone who has something to hide. Well, dude, on the way back from Marbella, let's win our fight, and I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah, there we are. Right on me straight away. Got you, baby. Thank you. <coughs> Crazy cat. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. I've now that I've found a decent loadout that I can rock with, I'm happy. I still prefer the other mode. Yeah, I think I think oh, I got one. Oh. I've just flashed you. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, he's inside. I'm C Ford. Broke down. Yeah. Yeah, one hit, one hit. One hit. Nice. Tapped out. Did I kill him? Oh no, you good, mate. You got him. You got him. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> you got him. You tapped out. Are you him. fucking serious? <laughs> you just tapped out and killed him. Oh my god. <laughs> you all tapped out. Dude, you said one hit and I just clicked. Oh, that was the best. <laughs> no you just way. To show the oh, oh my god. god. I gotta breathe a minute. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and we in the dance killing, we straight grilling, we the best, and you know we trilling, yeah, big baller, I be billing, and I know that my name is Facilitant, uh, feel free to change the channel, cause I don't know what else to say, but I think that's all I got for today, I'm gonna go away, yeah, GG's resting in my casket, and I know that if I bask in Carol, Carol freaking basket, oh! If, if the producers are correct in telling me this, you actually own a kitten knit sweater company. Um, now, how does someone in their mid twenties go go about knitting sweaters up for cats? As a young boy, um, you know, I, I, had a, I had a very good upbringing. You know, great family. You know, my father worked very hard. He was a milkman. And oh, he just pause real fast. Because whenever you start to mention your childhood, I'm like, some fucked up's about to happen. Whenever you create a character and you're like, well, my childhood, I'm like, oh, fuck, what's Shaper about to do? <laughs> sorry to ruin your, your thunder, but continue. I okay. felt right. So we, oh, so sorry. That was, um, he was a great guy. He was a, yeah. he was a milkman. And, you know, my mother as well, she was a lovely woman. She, uh, she used to run a textile shop where she sort of get, you know, young. To our right, there's actually people to our right. Uh, yeah, I'm getting shot at from the hill, I believe. Uh, they have pushed onto me. They are in my building. One is downed. Another one's... You didn't realize that. So, anyway, as I was talking about my, so my mum used to run like a little lovely little clothing shop, but she teach kids about textiles and how you could you know, take certain fabrics and make certain clothes and uh, you know, all that. Yeah. And um, look, uh, this kid came in one day and I'm look, he was talking about uh, his favorite animal. You know, you know, kids are talking. About I do. Animal. Yeah. Animals are and great. He, come, he comes in one day and. My mum's like, Tommy, I've never seen you come in with your mum and dad. And I thought, you know, I was only young and I looked over and I thought, yeah, she's right. I've never seen you come in with any parents. And all I've got parents and all the other kids come in with their parents. They get dropped off. But this kid never, never ever comes in with his parents. It turns out he was adopted by a, a, a bunch of stray cats. Wow. And that's why I made that company and originally when i started the company i wanted it to be for kids you know uh, the, the, these clothes but okay. you know the the, the 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 suppliers said 
we can't have clothes called wet pussy jumpers. So I had to change change it up a bit, and we went with kitty. Oh, you, know, you know it. I feel as as though that supply demand is usually there. What made you realize there was a demand uh, for kitten clothes? Um, to be honest, mate, I think you know I didn't realize how many cat, how many kids are out there living without. You know, all these kids are living amongst cats. Yeah. They've been taken in by by cats. Oh, so, yeah, oh, even with an invisible life. skin, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's pushing onto me now. You're just significantly better than that person was. Yeah, look, um, um, anyway, look, when you asked oh, me, hold on. you spoke to my uh, manager sorry. about coming on the show. Uh, it, hold on, you, I'm, you know. I'm so sorry, we're getting word from the producers. Yes, hi, this is PBS Radio. Uh, we have a commercial break from our sponsor, uh, the Kitten Sweater Company. We will be right back right after that's their commercial rival, break. That that's, that's my This is where you pitch your show. <clears throat> You're supposed to pitch your sh your, your kitten your cats. For all you kids out there who haven't got mums and dads, we have small, medium, and large. Come on down and get yourself a kitten cat sweater. We've also got socks that you can put on your feet because that's where they usually go, in it? Come on down. And we're back. Uh, welcome back to PBS Radio. We are again here with um, the owner of the Kitten Cat Clothing Company. Now, we again, I loved your advertisement. Uh, again, love what you guys stand for and what you're really putting out there into the world. I do have to say, though, it does sound like you are using cats to make the clothes. Um, and I, I feel like I just need a little bit of clarification on that because that that could be very very troublesome i've just got down he's on me now i'll self revive if you keep him off me thank you i'm gonna push on and hopefully we can look at starting a new company called dog sweaters with dogs ruffles and there ain't nothing nobody's gonna stop me this time i'm taking your dogs they're gonna work for my my fucking workforce and you no one's getting me off it <laughs> Mate, this guy is what he just saw on his screen. <laughs> that guy, I think it was like his first kills. Oh, we were his. 